What type of, uh, do you own your home or you're a renter or an owner? I, in Turner County, I rent my home. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what type of structure is, is this? Um, it is a single family home. Okay, family single detached home. Detached. Multi okay, mm -hmm. detached. Okay, good. Uh, do you remember the date you moved in? Um, I moved in May of this 2018. Okay. Mm -hmm. You take May, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Have you always lived in this community? No. Okay. Um, well, if you have not, tell me uh, how you ended up in this community. I ended up in this community because my of my job. I moved to this area for my job. Okay. My parents are close, and church area. Okay, okay. Well, just by, you say you're from, you know, you live in Turner. Have you lived, um, did you go to school there? I did not. You did not, okay. I just, that's because that's where my hometown is. Go Rebels, okay. Um, could you tell me um, what type of um, home you lived in when you was growing up? When I was growing up, mm -hmm. um, we lived in several different homes. Okay. Um, I've lived in a duplex before, um, so it was a, a multi-family home, and then we spent the rest of my childhood in a single-family detached home. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have a rooftop solar uh, for your home at this time? No. Okay. Um, why, what do you think would be the main reason why you have not... Um, you know, decided to go so long because all the what you know the benefits and mm -hmm. the pros and cons. How you think? You know what? I don't think that I really knew too much about it as an option. Um, so it's just never been something that I investigated. I do understand that anything associated with the term solar could be beneficial, um, but I just I didn't investigate it. Okay. If someone was in this area. And could like give you pretty much the uh, the pros and cons of why having a a solar um, roof. Um, what what would be the main thing that you probably um, be your concern? Uh, you know, whether it be the money or whether it be the availability of. Oh, It'd be the money. The money. Okay. Cost. Okay, the cost. Okay. Tell me why you do not have a rooftop solar. Well. Um, I don't have one because I don't have, I, I never really knew too much about it, didn't have a, much information on it, and honestly, it sounds like something that would be rather expensive, so those are a couple of reasons why. Also, I'm renting okay. my property now, Okay. so I'm not sure if that's something that the landlords would do or okay. I would do. You just answered that question, did it. Okay, now if this was available to you and the price was comfortable that you could um, handle it, would you like? Would you consider uh, buying a solar, um, a solar roof? Even you know, because like I say, say for instance, if you are renting and um, the the rent tour would like to put it up there, and I know it probably would probably make you say, we'll say that it make your um, rent go down. Would you consider doing it for him to put it on there? Certainly. He does that. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Why do you think, um, okay, how do you identify, um, or what do you think about people or communities, uh, individual individuals who are high adopters of rooftop uh, solar energies? How do you feel about those people? Hmm. Well, I feel like that they may have, uh, be aware of some additional resources but I wasn't um, initially. It's not something that I've seen a lot in the area where I live, but it's now, it seems to me like they're a community that's really um, thinking about the environment and even conserving energy and just really about making sure that the environment for everybody is safe and healthy. Mm, that's good. I'd like to take a bit, uh, talk a bit about rooftop solar uh, adoption in general. Here's a map of the United States um, that I would like to... Um, if you, where do you think uh, people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes? Could you draw that for me on the map? Just you, make a mark there. You, yes, ma'am. Pen. Okay. Okay. Well, you think uh, most of these homes will probably be, and they have just, good solar energy. Mm -hmm. You can mark several if you desire. Okay.
Okay. Okay, I see that you have Mark. Um, well, let me ask you this. Uh, what makes that community so different from the community you live in? Why they they having so many uh, so large on their room? I chose um, the state of California. Mm -hmm. I chose the state of California because it seems like the income per capita is probably higher there. Mm -hmm. and plus, there's a huge awareness of um, going green uh, that's quite different from what happens in the South. Um, interestingly enough, I chose Florida, which doesn't seem like the stereotypical southern area. There's a lot of sunlight there. It's normally um, mainly sunny, so they could definitely get a lot of energy from the sun. So having a rooftop that sort of gets its energy from the sun... I think that it would be there. And then I chose Washington State. I don't know why I chose Washington State. Maybe because it's on the West Coast. And I just kind of think of this being sort of very much a West Coast um, resource and okay. less an East and Southern area. Okay. Okay. Why do you think people here have the most uh, solar on their rooftop? Why do you think people here have the most solar on their rooftop. Why do you think if we have some here? Because I've seen a couple of houses uh, in Turner that have uh, solar panels. So how do, how do you think? Are these what, some counties that do have it? Yes. No, no. No. That, that was the one that is like, why do you think people here have the most solar in the rooftop? Um, I think that the people on the areas that I marked chose it because they may have a bit more information than some of us do. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in a very small rural community and I'm not sure that we just have people walking around talking to us about solar energy rooftops, but it may be more of a prevalent thing happening um, in the bigger states. Okay. Areas. Good. Okay. Let's just talk about um, our state for a minute. Mm -hmm. In what community in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar uh, solar on their homes. Mm. You just mark a couple of there. Do you think um, where this little Georgia, Upper mm -hmm. Georgia? I don't even know you have to mark it. I'd probably say all the ones that are marked on here as the bigger <laughs> cities, but I'll circle. Okay. Um, Atlanta here, um, and I'm not sure I can think of any places outside of Atlanta, okay. um, but I guess areas where the people maybe have a bit more. Financial. Okay. So, what makes people from a, from the Atlanta area so different from people in um, Turner? I think it's a bit more diverse in the Atlanta area, um, and not just diverse as far as ethnicity is concerned, but diverse as far as um, work for what you're doing with your jobs, your education levels, youth as as um, in comparison to older members of the community. So, having so many different things, various cultures there, it may make the ability to have access to the education about solar rooftops a bit more available in that metropolitan area. Okay. Okay, tell me why you think people in uh, Turner County um, have the most solar on their rooftop. Tell me why you think people in Turner County have the most solar on their rooftops. If they do, mm -hmm. then it could very well be because they were exposed to an interview similar to what I'm doing now and maybe went and investigated it more and found out that, hey, maybe it does save more money than I thought it would, and it's not as expensive as I thought it would. I think um, education can really expand your um, choices about what you think you can do or what you did not think was available to you initially, and solar rooftops are probably one of those things. Okay. What about um, most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do you do they have solar uh, on their roof? No, I can't think of anybody that has uh, solar rooftops. <laughs> they do. They didn't tell me yet. Okay. So mainly, well, I'm not going to put the say, but why do you think they do or don't have it? Simply mm -hmm. because. Um, well, I do have a lot of friends who are renting, so that would be one of the bigger barriers as to why they don't have it because they're not in a home that they own. And those that are in a home that they own, I think we have to go back to just saying lack of awareness of the availability of it and what it does and how it can be beneficial. 